you see this stuff, I have nothing against it. They have been valuable tools in my life, but at the same time, I overindulged in all of this way too fucking far. I may be a psychonaut, but I really have to finish this, you know? And see people are like, why don't you just throw it down the toilet? Well, it doesn't fucking work that way. I made the fucking decision. Now I have to fucking follow through with it, okay? You know? I'm not like the rest of you fucking drug, drug addicts, okay? Like, I hate to say it that way, but, you know, I actually take responsibility for this. I don't go around fucking blaming people for that shit, you know? I fucking utilized it for what it was meant for. It was helpful, but at the same time, you know what? Overindulgence and then the dependence wasn't really worth it. And I don't even know if I'm going to give into a relapse again, you know? This is what I mean. Like, I had to cut everybody out of my fucking life, you know? It isn't even because of fucking them. Because you can't. You really can't blame a fucking drug for your fucking shit. You gotta stop doing that. And anybody who is gonna fucking... I'm gonna try to properly educate people on this, you know? On this shit. Because uh, uh, that's all that really is. It's just a fucking... Uh, the alkaloid out of the fucking ephedra plant in a concentrated form. Um, there you go. Alcohol. 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 Yeah, spirits, basically. And then cannabis isn't really so bad, but... I need to stop smoking shit and went into my lungs. So yeah, if anything, if I use that, it'll be edibles. And it will be very, very... It, it'll be spaced out in a in a way where it's... You know... it's It's got to be done with a lot more intentionality, you know? Because it was... It started out that way. But then it just fucking turned into a habit, you know? Before I knew it. Like, back when I was fucking young, I was uh, doing everything. I was doing 2CB, fucking MDMA, ketamine, GHB. Like, I was just into everything. I didn't really like the opioids because they didn't really do anything. They just made me fucking nod off. Like, who the fuck wants to... Anyways. I'm gonna, like, leave uh, emails and shit like that. So if anybody wants to get any advice about either doing this shit with, like, a proper intention and fucking, you know, like, cause I don't, it's, it, I don't know, it's, this has got a huge fucking really bad reputation, and which is not really as bad as, as it is, you know, it's when you stay up on it, and you don't eat, you don't fucking sleep, you go into a fucking psychosis, you know, and yeah, you can recover from, that's the thing, like, drugs, they're temporary, it's a temporary, um, effect, you know, it does eventually wear off, but if you do enough of it, and too much of it, you can cause, you know, quite a bit of damage, you know, especially if you're not resilient, you don't have a resilient mind, you already have some sort of a psycho, uh, some sort of a mental thing or whatever, this shit will fucking just make you fucking retarded, basically, um, see, this is what I mean, like, I'm not very good, I'm not a very good speaker, you know, I'm kind of just like, Turn on the camera and just whatever it comes out. It comes out however it comes out. So, um, you know. Like, you know, because every time I say I'm going to fucking quit, there's always something that happens, you know. There's always, like, I'm walking down the street, there's a sign that says, Warning, speed hump. I'm like, oh, well, well. If that isn't a fucking sign, you know. And I'm like, I'll tell you one thing. This right here. When used very sparingly, and I say sparingly, like, um, actually, uh, I'll leave a link in the description about that video. But, uh, don't take it so much into the context that he took it as, like, the demonic shit, because, um, when I took it, yeah, there were negative dark entities with it, but I think it mainly that had to do with the synthesis process, you know, whoever synthesized it. You know, they're just doing it for a profit. They're not really doing it for the love of the chemistry and actually putting intentionality on you know? it. Like, if there's that, uh, you know, those um, experiments with the water and putting the intention, well, think about that. They're, depending on where it was made, if it was actually made by a fucking proper chemist or if it was just made by somebody who's following the steps of the ingredients, they don't care. They're just fucking making profit. So... There's that factor to take into account, too, you know, that I've, I've learned a lot from this, and 
I'm telling you, this shit has been hijacked. All these things have been hijacked and utilized against you. So there's a fucking drug war. Down the street, there's a fucking drugstore. But the funny thing is the people that are on drugs are winning the fucking war. Anyways, I can just ramble on. I can ramble. Ramble and ramble. Anyways. Let's get this fucking over with, shall we? I actually, um... I'm going to get initiated into an order, into, um, yeah, to the proper ones, with the dragons and stuff like that, because I can't, I'm not going to be, I don't know. I've been approached by some people, and I just don't really know what to make, make of it, because I don't know, like, what the, like, exactly what the masons are, the templars and shit, like, all you do is you just hear things, you just hear conspiracies, and, you know, and then these are not... You know, it, it, I'm pretty sure a lot of it, all the shit that I researched over the years, for the majority of it, is bullshit. But who the fuck really knows, right? So, I can't judge, I don't fucking know, I haven't experienced it, so. Um, what a fucking, 2019 all the way through now has been fucking insane. Ah, uh, shit. Like, fuck, people are fucking arguing over a fucking bandana. Like, like Jesus fucking Christ. I've never seen a fucking argument escalate. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. Maybe you should take some of that and uh, calm the fuck down. Well, not calm me down, but... Ah, <sighs> Jesus fucking... Oh, man. I can go on so many hours about this, man. Oh, uh, man, no wonder fucking drugs are all you, because they're fucking, they are, uh, you know, when you abuse and, like, you know, you overdo it, they fucking, they'll hurt you. They'll fucking hurt you. But you're not really, the drug's not really hurting you. You're doing it to yourself. <laughs> oh, man, I wish people could fucking understand that shit. <laughs> Like, I don't understand, you know, my mom would get some some medication, and I was more fascinated and wanted to know what the fuck it was, what was the chemical name, what was it derived from, she's just getting it from the doctor and taking it, so I don't, I don't get that, um, yeah, it's not, it's not a shamanic approach, it's not, you know, it's not a responsible approach, you know. Yeah, I fell in love with this shit, like, all of it, it's just, I loved it, because it was the only thing that actually made me fucking feel, um, not only a sense of satisfaction, but also, it was just like, I it didn't want to stop, because it was, it was actually, it was helping, in a lot of fucking ways, you know, but at the same time, I was missing out on a lot of things, too, and then I got really fucking carried away, the people... Like, like, there's nobody in this fucking city that even knows what the fuck I'm talking about at the time because they're just like, huh? You share your drugs? Huh? Now, what do you guys do? Fucking, you live on the fucking streets and you're fucking stealing from each other. Like, what the fuck is this? Oh, man. I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyways, I'm gonna end this here because, you know, well, I'll show you what I have been working on because I'm not doing completely nothing, you know, this is the art piece, I started a while back, but I didn't, never finished, but, you know, see, I did this while I was on drugs, you know, I did this on drugs, not saying that I needed it, but, like, well, I don't know, like, I don't know how fucking clear I have to be with people, it's just, like, it, it, it annoys me, but, I don't want to have to fucking take something to to feel happy, you know what I mean? Or to feel motivated, or... You know, like, uh, that, I've done enough. I have nothing wrong with psychedelics, um, especially, like, mushrooms and acid and stuff like that, because that's actually really, um... It's much better, much better for you. Health-wise, this will... Eventually, at a certain point, it starts breaking down your central nervous system, and then, you know, you kind of start fucking 
up the neurons and you know they fire off too much and if you're like me you go you do the ritual of the rising sun and you know you try to fucking snap and go as long as you can <sighs> oh my lord you don't really want to go there but like i said you know and it would just just stop blaming the fucking drugs then take responsibility and then eventually at some point you know when you're ready you'll make that fucking step I'll leave links if you want to fucking get advice on how to fucking get off this shit or if you're curious about the compounds and you want to fucking use them or whatever and I can give you as much information as I can if you want to go into this with a, you know, you know, like, like more prepared than I basically went into it and not, uh, not fuck yourself over, you know, give yourself a limited time and then like, stop, drop it. So I'll drop it and roll. <laughs> well, fucking cheers. Uh, gotta go out and get some fresh air. Maybe do one last week report. <laughs> and then, uh, I really gotta fucking move forward, but I did get some fucking good stuff the other day. And, and the honey. Real honey on pasteurized the fucking good shit. Of course, the ginger. Uh, Tulsi is ginger. She said it would help with the nerves. I know quite a bit about herbs, but I eat a lot of my, you know, my memory is pretty fucked too, so I gotta fucking work on that. This is really bad for memory. Especially if you start black, blacking out on, like I'd say like this is actually the worst for memory. This, in and of itself, actually makes you pretty clear and actually there's a lot of times when I'd have, like, some of the best conversations in the world with this, but also at the same time, I'd remember things that I that I forgot years ago. And yeah, see, this is what I mean. It's like... Uh, yeah, people really don't understand. They don't. They don't. They don't get it. But anyways... Ugh. <sighs>